YouTube, YouTube was good. It's your boy 2471 Half Exotic Fridgey Boutique. I'm back in the building with another one. So, hey, look, let's get right into it, baby. So, look, y'all, today we kind of just vlogging. I got the new play pin set up. So, actually, it's not set up. I got it. I got to set it up. So, we got the, the new play pin. I'm um, going to set that up for the pups. They upgrading. They moving on up at Jefferson's now. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, hey, why, why I got you here? Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Zotty Frenchie Boutique across all platforms. Hey, I got a new Shopify store too where I got a bunch of Frenchie merch. I'm going to drop the link. Bam, right here. So y'all make sure y'all go check that, that uh, Shopify store out. Show your boys some love. And uh, shout out to all my cousins. Hey, look, if you got a little on the ground, congratulations. But uh, other than that, man, let's get into the video though. It's just, we just vlogging today, just getting some content out there. You already know how we do. All right, so, um, so the pups is in there getting the wipe down. A little area getting cleaned out. Um, this is the last of this, cause like I told you, uh, I got the new the new playpen on deck right there. We also got some some more fresh pads. But we about to go into we we about to switch to the pine pellets. But I still got pads on deck. But we gonna switch to the pine pellet system now that I'm about to hook up the the actual playpen. As y'all know, I went with a different one from the last whelp. It's the last whelp, but um, this one's plastic, so it's gonna be easier to clean. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, you already know. But what I'm about to what I'm about to do, what up, Choo Choo? I'm about to pull all this tarp back and probably staple it down to the floor so it's nice and flat. I think we're gonna do that before I put that up. Bam. Look, while I'm trying to do my thing, right? We got them in here, and they acting like like <laughs> pit bull. They cause they they cage free animals. They like, you know, what's that milky drink? I mean, the eggs you like, pasture. But these are just like pasture-raised puppies. They, they like to be out and about. They're going crazy. In this thing. So I'm just nailing the tarp down into the cell floor underneath the carpet. I did put some staples in a little baseboard, even though I was told not to. I still did it. The point of saying that is because I'm a savage, so I still did it. So anyway. I'll put that shit out right <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> that shit out right so yeah, so if, so if you want to just do what you want to do and be a savage, I, I suggest you do those things. You I know what I'm saying? You, you don't have you don't have to listen to other people. Camera. You know, you see they got staples in the in the in the baseboards, right? Let's see how. All right, so basically, so we had a rug right there. It's like two rugs underneath here, so I just tucked that underneath there, and I'm gonna put me some more screws down. A couple, I mean, not screws, nails. I'm using these nails, by the way. Some panel board nails, some little joints. Let's go right into the floorboard, stuff floor, I mean, you know. And yeah, that's that, y'all. All right, we good to go. And for anybody wondering why I stapled it to the floors for when I mop and sweep, it don't be all moving around and going all crazy. And it just looks better, it's nice and neater, so yeah. All right, y'all, so this is the playpen. Got it off Amazon. It's like 179 or something like that. It was under 200 bucks. Let's see how complicated it is to put this bad boy together. Oh boy, it's got a bunch of pieces and shit. Oh man. Oh, I guess it's not. Oh, I guess they like, they pretty much like, not really. Not really. I don't see how this is supposed to be as big as I'm thinking it's going to be, but let's check it out. This is what it should look like. Yeah, this the measurements say it should be as big as the last one we had, but this these pieces don't really look like they gonna make that. Uh, yeah. Oh wow! So look, y'all, it was one whole piece. I'm imagining that you just take it out and it unfolds, and maybe you gotta put those bottom pieces on like these here. But that's pretty cool. I don't gotta put all these. I don't gotta snap all these pieces together. This looks like the front door right there. Boy, they move up, up. You know, because you're messing up my video. So look, y'all, it's almost like an accordion, which is pretty, pretty cool. 
Oh, I get. Oh, it is big as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, that's sweet. Oh yeah. Let me let me hook these bottom pieces up. Get it nice and stable, and I'll be back with y'all. All right, so this is basically it. You could kind of configure configure these pieces like this, however you want them. You could lock them into place, make little little different sections, right? And then, hey, hey, be hey. Be quiet. You can say something, but let me finish. So, and then once you get it to where you want it, you just <laughs> you just tighten these up. And then it stays in that position. So that's pretty cool. So what we probably gonna do is like keep it like this and have the uh the pine pellet box here and then come out and like you know I'll probably have it like like that. So the pine pellet box would just be back tucked in there and then they could come out here and do their thing. Ain't that right, babe? Just just like that. And then the pine pellet box go over there. Alright, we back now. As you see, this joint took up the whole damn room, basically. So, it got a door. Bam. Bam. Go ahead, Tutu. Go check it out. Go ahead. Go check it out in there. What up, Lay? Like I said, the pine pellet box is going to go over here in this area. And then they do their thing and get the hell on. That's basically that. Because last time we had the pine pellet box just out in the open. And... Man, they like to track a whole lot of mess. So hopefully if we keep it separate, it's still going to be messy, but it won't be as messy. Tsunami, what you think about it? But yeah, that's that. They, this drink got a bunch of extra pieces, or maybe not. <laughs> maybe I needed them, but I don't think I did because this drink up and it's nice and sturdy. So we're going to go ahead and get the pups up in that thing. All right, so as y'all know, Panda was the first one with her ears up. That's not Panda. Uh, Panda's over there sleeping. She was the first one with her ears up. This boy right here, the first, the second one with his ears up. Um, who else we got? We got, we got one ear up on green. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let me, let me put them in their new home. See how they like it. Let's go, big boy. Go check that out, big boy. Hold on. You go in there too. Let's go, bro. So I don't know, like in the last in the last little play area, what we did was we put the cage in there too. So so like we would have the cage over there in that corner, and they still got all this area to play with. And that's so at night, we could just put them in the cage in the kennel. This thing right here probably don't need one as big, but we could we had it over there. We would put the pups in there at night, um, then release them in the morning, let them go crazy and go ham. I don't know if we just going to let them be out overnight and just do all their thing. I don't know. We're going to see because there's a lot of room for them right now, especially coming from that blue joint, the blue pool. So, and I still got to get my pine pellets. I got the box already. I just got to get the pellets. But, um, yeah, man, the pups seem to be enjoying it. Go ahead, Tutu. Go in there with them. Get on up in there. Go ahead, Tsunami. Come on. She, she really probably prefer to not even be in there with them. They be, they be terrorizing her. And so for now, I guess I'll just put their mush and milk bowl over there. But yeah, they really, they really digging this new space. They moved on up they in the high rise now. Actually, they ain't they in a the, the big single family. They got a backyard and shit going on. They loving it. Oh yeah. All right, y'all. So I guess in, in in about twenty minutes, they done answered the question for me. Cage got to go in there, baby. I was like, I come back. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, let me clean up. Uh, <sighs> all, right, all right, we all cleaned up. So until I get the pine pellets, the pine pellet going on over there, they're going to be in the cage 
I mean, they're going to be able to get to come out, play, do whatever. But when they on their downtime, on their chill time, I don't think I'm going to give them that much room until they get advanced to the next stage and know that they need to go over there and use the bathroom and so forth and so on. And then I'll leave it open. But for now, if I'm not in here, I'm downstairs, I'm doing whatever, and they just up here, um, I'll leave them in there. That's that's what we're rocking with. And then, of course, when we in here chilling, doing whatever we're doing, feeding, they're going to come out, run around. They won't be caged up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> for long. But anyway, that's the plan. So, boy, that was a lot of shit. All right, peace out. All right, y'all. So this is normally what it looks like. Once they come out their cage and they get their feeding on, there's a whole bunch of playing, not eating. They play, eat, play, eat. Hey, 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 black. And yeah, about to clean their little area out. He trying, Big Brown trying to go, Chris Brown trying to go to the bathroom. They got their mush down, their goat's milk, and some puppy replacement mixed in with the goat's milk. Um, yeah, man, it's going down. Tsunami right here, chilling. She ain't trying to go up in that joint. The pups is just, boy, they all over the place. Oh, clean up. Clean up on aisle three. Come here, my boy. Let me get that booty. Oh yeah, we got their water bowl, they drink water. Um, make sure you keep water down for the pups too. You know what I'm saying? Keep them hydrated, boy. They going crazy on the mats over there. Hey, 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 come on. We potty training right now. Leave her alone. No, 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 no. Go ahead. You was going in the right direction. Go over there. All right, y'all, so y'all see, I switched it over. I still ain't put the pine pellets down, but now at least when I open the door, I'll just attach this here and it leads straight to they, straight to they pee area. But um, as you see, I got the mush formula down pat. So we looking good. They love this mush formula. I'm gonna I'm I'm do a video on this mush formula because this one right here, oh my bad, baby, you can't, you, you can do it. Um, Cause this formula right here, boy, they go through it. They goes through it. So using the bathroom, we working on potty training, boy, we doing good with the potty training, I'm trying to tell you. But um, man, you better come over here and eat. But uh, yeah, that's how it's going down right now, man. It's ah, right, y'all. So we about to run up in the truck to supply and get some uh, pine pellets. We need anything else? I'm uh, like this huh? I'm like this uh, do we need anything else? Ghosts. They don't. They don't got the ghost milk we want here. So we gonna get some pine pellets. Dine. Dine, uh, I mean, we've been kind of doing height without the dines. So I don't know. You gonna check it out? All right. So yeah. When she get a cart, we gonna get our stuff. Look at these, these y'all, these some bill jack, uh, dog treats, peanut butter, and chicken liver. We gonna, we gonna grab these, see what, I, I actually was looking for the bill jack food. I don't think they got our kibble here. Um, we gonna see though. And I don't know about dying either, cause we ain't been having, we ain't been really using dying, so, shit, we might stick with, our, stick with not, not using it. Uh, I thought that was. You think they got Royal Canaan? 
We've been using Royal Canaan for the for the, the pups. Boy, look at this shit right here, boy. It look like you get your dog. Cement guts. Uh damn, they might not have. They might not got either one, babe. We used to come here a lot because we used to do Victor. And they had Victor, but man, they ain't got nothing. They got EBT food in this head. <laughs> Diamond, I guess, is alright. Yeah, they don't got it, man. All right, we came here for the pine pellets. So that's really what we should be. So, yeah, so, um, so they don't got none of the food we need. Um, so I'm debating if I'm gonna get some dime. Do we want to use dime? I don't even see that shit. It's probably with the horses and shit right here. But I don't want this big ass thing of dime. Yeah, that's the big one. Power punch. <laughs> so these are the pine pellets that you need. These are the only ones you can use, to my knowledge. Seven dollars. I guess we gonna grab two of them. All right, so we found a dime, even though it seems that seems pretty expensive. I don't know. I don't remember, but boy, look how much they selling the can of ghost milk for. Fourteen dollars. Even though I pay six dollars, and I just found out, she just found out that they they at Walmart for two. What is it? Three dollars, bro. Three dollars compared to six dollars and thirty eight cents is a lot. I can get two cans for the price of one at at, at um, Walmart. 